Good evening, everyone. I'm going to be doing a love reading for Leo today. I'm going to be starting with this deck. last reading for today so if I get a little tired please bear with me please bear with me I did all 12 signs today love rings reminds me of every sign Beyonce believe in her beliefs but she's very talented that's a talented young lady overall energy is going to be the devil and that's going to be coming in the reverse when it comes in the reverse it deals with independence revelations releasing things and reclaiming power in your relationship okay we'll get a few clarifiers after we read those cards i want to get these Flipped over. From the last reading. My apologies, guys. Okay, let's proceed. We have the justice that's coming in in reverse, like I said. That's going to deal with injustice, um, retribution, dishonesty, corruption, and unfairness in the relationship. Um... Justice in the reverse um, could also deal with um, unfairness, lack of accountability, and dishonesty in a relationship. So just be honest with one another. It makes things so much easier. I promise it does. Um, let's go with the Seven of Pentacles next. That's going to be in your current energy. That means rewards, patience, perseverance, diligence, and progress. Um, Pentacles always deals with money as well. So someone is definitely um, should be receiving some money. It could be both of you or one of the other. But if you're in a committed relationship, it goes to the house, right? So it's for both. However, in your future energy is the Knight of Pentacles. So that means somebody is a workaholic. That is um, the finances is, is feeling wasted, um, taking risky investments and being irresponsible for the finances. Um, let's see. Let's get a few clarifiers. Of our energy is the tower. The answer is going to be no. When you deal with a tower moment, it could in the upright, it could deal with a lot of things. Um, however, dealing with this deck, the tower in the upright position could mean um, sudden changes, upheaval, chaos, revelations in a relationship. Some people, some part, some people in relationships could have their partner going through an awakening. That also means. Um, a tower moment as well so that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing okay let's see let's clarify that that justice card in reverse so we have the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles that's coming in reverse that deals with financial disputes bankruptcies um success un unsuccessful in the relationship um family conflicts and you know burdens things like that instability like rocky or loose foundations 
So it's, it's necessary to get that solid and firm foundation in order to build upon, okay? Also clarifying the Justice card in reverse is the King of Swords. When that comes in upright, it deals with authority, power, high standards, mentality, clarity, morality, like justice, being honest and truthful with one another, which is good. That's in your past energy. However, um, if it's in your past, that means you know how to do it. So just continue doing it. In your future, in your present energy, you have the Four of Pentacles. And when that comes out, that deals with frugality, you know, like saving money, um, blocking the changes. Um, that's in a relationship, fear of change, and maybe even hoarding and being greedy with your person from other people. So that, that can't be too good. Also, clarifying the seven of pinnacles in the upright position is going to be the seven of wands. That deals with ex exhaustion, defeat, giving up, um, yielding. Lack of self-confidence, things of that nature, and, you know, motivation is low, and feeling overwhelmed in a relationship. I'm going to need you guys to sit down and talk to your persons. Sit down and talk to your person. Let them know how you're feeling. I'm sure if they really care and love you, they will make the necessary changes, and that way you guys can move forward, okay? Because this chariot card lets me know that you should be moving forward, but it's coming in in a reverse position. The chariot usually means travel, movement, you know, and when it's coming in in reverse, it means lack of direction, no control, you know, self-discipline is, 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 is low, um, forceful, peep someone is being forceful, someone feels powerless because the other person is feeling forceful and you you guys are at oppositions in your future to verify that Knight of Pentacles if you don't get your, um, energy together before the end of this weekend, okay? Also coming in in reverse, it's a strength card. Um, we saw that in another reading. I'm not sure exactly who it was, but check your other placements as well and um, see if they resonate with you. But when it comes in reverse, it deals with vulnerability, insecurity, self-doubt, um, low confidence, cowardness, low energy, disbeliefs, and abuse of power. Okay? All right. That us. Get a few messages from the universe. Let's get a few messages from spirit. See what spirit has to say to you guys. About your connections and your relationships. liar they'll be back and spy those have been coming out very 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 in confession someone has to tell you something let's try this again i want to shuffle these a little bit more because that came out i think that just came out for the last placement let's see maybe i didn't shuffle so well let's get a few more shuffles Make sure you got an accurate reading for you guys. See what Spirit has to say. There's one. Intuition. Someone needs to use their intuition. Someone needs to use their intuition. A little bit more. But that's coming in in your past energy. So don't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And your intuition. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. You got air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And you have 
Yes, luck is on your side. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is moving. Somebody is moving either into a house, townhouse, or a beautiful high-rise apartment. I see it. Spirit is letting me know. Change of residence. Moving in with your partner. So you guys are moving in together. But it's going to be either in a townhouse or a house. That's what Spirit just whispered in my ear. Let's see what you would like to say to your person. Actually, we're going to do it backwards. Let's see what your person has to say to you. I'm following my lead. Spirit is spirit is fuck. Let me know what I'm doing. All right, what we got here, spirit? Let's see. What does their person have to say to them? What to say to Leo today? Leos are one of the strongest signs in the zodiac. Why are you so damn beautiful? Overall energy, what you want to say to your person? Or handsome? Depending on who you are. Male or female? You fill me up with happiness. Have I lost you? The card is clarifying that it says no. There's no on both sides. No there, no there. I can't hold back any longer. That's clarifying the, the, the chariot and the strength card for your person. Let's see what you would want to say to your person instead of what your person wants to say to you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I dropped a card. A little bit more. Yeah. It's showing that you guys had a nice reading. Something cards. I'm hearing um some of your heart. That's what I'm hearing. Fun with your heart. She says, sometimes she calls me Trey. Sometimes she say Tremaine. So, but he said, regardless of which one, the neighbors know his name. All right. See, still listening. Spoiling you. Attached to my ex. Woo. Lord. On the bottom of the deck is gaslighting you. Overall energy for what you, you want to say to your person. You are said still listening. Um, I guess you are answering them um, when they said, have I lost you? You're still listening. I listen to the music you shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart. So someone is apart from their person right now. That may be why you guys are moving in together. However, this gaslighting has to stop. That is a toxic trait that must stop on either end, whoever it is. Spoiling you. 
I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips, everything you could ever need or want. You need nothing less. You deserve nothing less. Attached to my ex. That's in your future energy if you don't get it together. Somebody's comparing you to your ex. You to their ex. I don't know if it's you or them, but somebody is comparing. I'm attached to my ex emotionally, physically, and or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection. Okay. Let's get a Pull some numbers, then we're going to close out this reading, okay? So we have 86, 0, I'm sorry, that's 8, 8, that was 8, 86, 8, 10, Seven, four, and three. F three, four, seven, ten, eight, six, and eighty. All right. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the rest of your evening.